How to Stay Safe on Windows 7 or 8.1 in 2023, and beyond. First and foremost, it is not safe nor advisable to be using any operating system that is no longer supported by its developers, and Windows is no exception, but as of November 2023, over 3% of the whole entire world still runs Windows 7, which was released 14 years ago, and has since stopped receiving any new feature updates, security patches, bug fixes, etc. Mainstream support ended in January 2015, and extended support, minus the paid-for program for businesses to get extended support for Windows 7, ended on January 14, 2020, and the ESU program stopped on January 10, 2023, which was also the same day that Windows 8.1 lost extended support. These operating systems are not safe to use anymore, because without regular patches, you're at serious risk of becoming victim to many nasty types of malware, including root kits, ransomware, trojans, browser hijackers, etc. It's even worse for these older and less secure systems. Even Windows 10 has far more protection and security features than both 7 and 8.1, meaning the older ones are at far greater risk of becoming infected. Now, it is important to remember that antivirus will only protect you from certain threats, it cannot protect you from ransomware, unless you pay for an AV solution that can prevent a ransomware attack in real time. The free ones will not protect you from ransomware, however, you can find and remove other malware that has infected your system using free AV solutions, plenty of great freebies exist out there. That being said, you're not going to be safe against zero-day exploits, and the antivirus will only support the version of Windows for so long before it stops receiving virus definition updates, therefore, when a specific AV stops supporting an antiquated version of Windows, you know it's really time to move on. Another major thing you have to worry about is the continual support of the software you use. A lot of big name software has already stopped supporting or is dropping support for Windows versions older than 10. This also introduces significant dangers to you because of security vulnerabilities, and the software itself can be a great way for a hacker to gain access to an outdated and insecure operating system. Windows 7 and 8.1 users are literally the sitting ducks for hackers. Hackers are licking their chopsticks and they're gonna do everything they can to ruin your system and compromise your data, it is very important that you upgrade to Windows 10 at the very least, and if your hardware is not powerful enough, then you will have to see what other option can suit you best, because staying on an outdated and unsupported system is not in the least bit safe or advisable by any means, however, you can hopefully mitigate your chances of becoming victim to malware by following some basic safety precautions, and having some goddamn common sense when downloading or opening files. If you are going to continue using Windows 7 or 8.1, please follow this guide closely, as I will be giving you some handy tips on how to stay safe. First, you will need to install a reputable antivirus solution onto Windows. I strongly recommend a Vero or Average for freebies, and if you're willing to pay for a AV solution, you could pay for a Vero or Average, but many others exist, including ESET Security Essentials, Kaspersky AV, Avast, etc. However, you do not need to pay for AV unless you need advanced protection features and real-time protection for threats like ransomware. Make sure the AV solution you use still supports Windows 7 or 8.1, and regularly run both a quick scan and a deep system scan to ensure there is nothing suspicious on your system. You will need to do this at least once a month, if not, more, perhaps twice a month to be extra safe. I would also recommend downloading and installing malware bytes. This can also help detect suspicious files or potentially harmful ones, and it can quarantine the unsafe ones to prevent them wreaking havoc on your system. Secondly, you need to ensure your web browser is up to date and still supports Windows 7 or 8.1. Mozilla Firefox and Opera browser are currently the only ones I am aware of that still have support for Windows 7 and 8.1. However, in September 2024, Mozilla say they will stop supporting Firefox on these older systems. Opera browser is yet to have an end-of-life announcement for Windows 7 and 8.1. There may be other lesser-known browsers that will still support Windows 7 and 8.1 after this however, but since your browser is your main line of defense, and it is by far your most used tool on a PC, it is critical that it is kept up to date, and you must ensure your other software also keeps receiving updates. Once a lot of major software for Windows 7 and 8.1 drops support, you really will need to upgrade to a newer system, and gamers, be prepared to say goodbye to Steam on Windows 7 and 8.1 in less than a month from now, as in January 2024, Steam will officially stop supporting Windows 7 and 8.1. So you will no longer be able to use it to play games, download them, etc. Finally, if you can update to a more modern OS, then you should absolutely do so.
If your PC or laptop meets Windows 10's minimum hardware requirements, then plan ahead and upgrade to Windows 10. If not, perhaps you should consider a viable alternative operating system, such as Linux, which is free, open source, and has lots of many so-called distributions, or flavors of Linux. However, Linux is not for everyone, it has a learning curve most are not willing to climb, and the lack of business standard software hinders Linux from gaining significant popularity. So unless you're prepared to ditch Windows for good, perhaps stick with it. If you want Windows 11, you will need to purchase compatible hardware that can officially run it. Microsoft strongly advises against installing 11 on unsupported hardware. Microsoft has officially blocked installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, using the official bypass method to bypass the minimum hardware requirements. However, new workarounds are being found to install it on unsupported hardware. However, it is risky to install 11 on unsupported hardware as Microsoft will effectively stop supporting any unsupported machines running Windows 11, which defeats the entire purpose of upgrading. So for now, I think anyone on Windows 7 or 8.1 should upgrade to 10, as it really is your only option, if you're a die-hard Windows user, however, if you want a Dish Windows, then look around for a beginner-friendly Linux distribution, such as Ubuntu or Linux Mint, or if you're prepared to spend some money, get yourself a Macintosh or a new Windows 11 PC, Linux is only really better when it comes to older and less powerful hardware, but if you want, you could always set up a multi-boot system, in which several operating systems are installed, you can have Windows, Linux, and any other system your heart desires. Whatever works out best for you, be sure to stay safe online, and try to stop using these old, unsupported, insecure systems, they just present a huge risk to you and your data, it can be all gone, just like that. All thanks to your system not getting the necessary patches or fixes. With all of that out of the way, we will now draw this video to a close. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.